everyone, it's Libby Bird. How are y'all doing today? Today I'm going to do a new segment of mine called Libby's Gaming. And I am just going to, first off, talk about this game that I am on right now. It's the James Patterson's Women's Murder Club, Death in Scarlet. And I have actually played this game about, I guess, about three or four years ago and I beat it. But I love mystery games mostly like mystery and horror games especially and this one is a point and click game so it's kinda like I spy but um, of course I have gotten up here and made my profile Livy Bird and that's about it if, if you all don't know James Patterson is a famous author he wrote a lot of murder novels and mystery novels and also some romance novels which are the ones that I read but, um, yeah, so if y'all don't know him, he is a famous novelist, so... Anyway, let's start playing this game. Alright, we are loading Investigation 1. I will do this in segments of Investigations, so I don't know exactly how many Investigations there are. I think there's about five or six, but if there is more, of course, I'll have more videos up for you all. Um, so, yeah, let's get into Investigation 1 and see how it goes. Alright, first off, we are looking at this guy running. These are like comic book segments to show you how like, you know, cutscenes are done. They do it in comic book showings. Um, okay, so he's running down uh, and he steps on a flower. Oh, how dare you step on that flower? Like, oh my goodness. And then he looks over. I guess this is San Francisco since that is the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, he looks over. One. Two. <gasps> <laughs> that face. So, um, I guess he's seen something. I guess it's a murder. We'll, we'll find out, shall we? Alright, bring, 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 bring. Hello? Lindsay, it's Jacob. -a. Why didn't they just leave it as Jacob? Instead of adding the I. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think they're trying too hard. I'm at Martin Vista Point. It's a homicide. Weird one, too. Listen to this. I guess I guess he tells her. Uh, don't touch her. I'm on my way. Well, then. It's a her. Okay, start your investigation. Click on an available location on the map. Locations will sparkle until you have finished all the puzzles there. Alright, then. Um, you need to find all the items listed in your notebook. Search, the, uh, search this location for each item. When you find an item, click on it and it will be crossed off of your list. Okay, this is a basically a, a point-and-click game. Any other kind of point-and-click game are most likely the same. Um, the bottom half of your notebook lists important pieces of evidence that you need to uncover in multiple locations during this investigation. They will be crossed off when you discover them. Well, okay then. All right. Okay, this is evidently the tutorial part. If you have difficulty finding an object, you can use a hint. Well, we are going to try to do our best and not use a hint. So, all right, let's first off, let's go and touch on the head. Oh, she's young, in her 20s. I guess it is a girl. And that looks a little bit disturbing. Um, possibly poison? I think that's what it was. Um, we'll go back and uh, we'll learn in a minute, I guess. All right, let's look at her chest. Not like literally but um, I'm pretty sure that's Chinese I'll need to translate I better get a picture Jacob I I saw those marks freaky huh I called in for an officer who speaks Chinese he she or is is it <laughs> is supposed to report to our office it why would you call a person an it? Oh my gosh. I can't even right now. Okay. There are no signs of trauma to the body. Claire will have to give me some guidance on what the weapon might have been. She looks average height. Maybe 5'2 to 5'5. Five five. She's slender. She's slender. Oh, okay. Um, oh, oh, all right. Well then, there's some shiny over here. The crab has got a hold of something. I better see what it is. The crab runs away when I try to grab it. I need to block off its path to escape. Maybe I can find some some, <laughs> some items around here to plug those holes. I I hear you all over there. I hear you being perverted. Well then, 
Um, let's see, what do we need to find? A glove. Well, oh, oh, a rotten apple, I see that one. Um, oh, okay. Uh, the balloon. Where's that glove, though? Uh, I'm pretty sure you all have already found it, and are going, Livy Bird, right there. I'm slow, okay? Um, a twig. A cork. No, no, stamp's not one. Um, the number 21. Okay, let's see. Shovel. I saw that one. The boomerang, I saw that one. I just can't find this glove. <clears throat> Do you all see a glove? Is that a glove? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, this is going to take me forever. Where's the glove? Is that the glove? Is, is, no. Hmm. Is that a kid? That's a kitty. Oh my goodness. There's the glove. Okay, so I found the glove. Not a lighter. Um. Ah, and a cigarette pack. Well, I see that one. Okay. <sighs> did it. I did it, guys. I did it. All right, so I guess we need to go. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, 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 I, I get you. I get you. I know what to do. Um, rotten apple. Wait, no, that, that, that does not go anywhere. Okay, then the stick. Come here, you little poop. Let go. I dropped it. Okay then, a diamond stud earring found in the Martin Vista Point crime scene. There's a strong possibility that it came from the victim. Well, I mean, if you think so, I mean, this is just a random, like, crab over here having an earring in its hand. I mean, <laughs> well, since it's around a victim and she's dead, I'm guessing that it goes to the victim. We're only guessing since there's a lot of trash around here. We're just assuming that this is of the woman that is dead right there. Okay then, um, sure, I can read it. It says, unfaithful, you know, like an adulterer, scarlet letter and all that. See, I know American Lit too. <laughs> okay. You won't regret letting me on the team, detective. I've been itching for a shot at homicide and this is my big break. Now he sounds a little bit excited. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust him. I don't trust people that are too excited, especially in mystery games. I'm telling you right now, or novels, if you read them and play mystery games or novels, uh, I am for sure thinking that they have something to deal, do with this. And I can't quite remember, even though I've played this game, I can't remember how it ends. So, I'm just saying. Um, but I have a hunch that he's, he's got something to do with this. Alright, duck. I, well, I saw that up there already. Um, a slogan button. Is that a button pin? Uh, okay, so I need to find a slogan button pin. Um, what's on, what else is on there? A dart? I did see the dart here. Um, electric razor. I did see the razor. Why is there a razor here? But I don't know. Um, this place is completely filthy. If this was my office, it would be very nice and neat because I am an organ organized person. I just have to say this right now. And there's a pine cone. A pine cone? Um, oh, it's down here. Why is there a pine cone in my office? I would never. A uh, slogan button. Uh, piece of dice. No, that's not a dice. Uh, um, oh, is this, is this it? That's a slogan, but okay, who would have thought? Okay, Lindsay, why couldn't her name be Livy Bird? They got the L right. Claire, it's Lynn's. I have a homicide that I need your help on, a real beauty. She'll break your heart. I need a case of death, some idea of the weapon, and I need fingerprints. I'm trying to find out who she is. I'm on it. I'll call you back when I have something. Well, then. Okay. A newspaper reporter. Okay, so I'm the homicide detective. It is San Francisco. Okay, then. Well, of course, if you read this. Okay, whatever. Um, forensics examiner. Um, 
extraordinary <laughs> newspaper reporter for the San Francisco Chronicle. Okay, then. Let's continue. Let's go to the Francis lab first. She might need a couple of things. All right, five brown bottles. Um, is this brown? No, that's that's orange. Um, oh, oh, oh! I found one. Okay, so all of these here. So, oh, this should be easy to find, right? What is eyedropper? I thought it looked like a brown bottle sideways. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, is that one? Nope. Ah, ah, ah! Ha ha! You couldn't hide from me at all. Okay. All right, is that all of them? Okay, in a Petri dish. Is that one? No, that's a mask. That's a breathing mask. Olivia. Olivia Bird, you should know better. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so we are done with this room for now. Let's go back here. Um, face. Uh, discoloration in lips makes us suspect an overdose of poison. Or poison. I told you... Uh, that just looks nasty, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'll have to do some more lab work to confirm. Alright then, looks like a brand. I'll take a cattle brand. Or like a, a kind of mo what kind of monster does something like that? I don't know. But, oh, my roommate just got back, so. Hi, roommate. Don't worry, I'm just doing a, a video on gaming, so. Anyway, okay, so let's get back to this. Let's do her fingerprints. Let's see. Um, oh, it looks so cute. Okay, so it's a tattoo of some sorts. Well, then. And let's do her fingerprints as well. Okay, great. Um, let's look at her body. Um, there's no stab or bullet wounds. No sign of blunt force. And there's little uh, deterioration. She hasn't been dead for long. Maybe about 8 to 10 hours. Okay, then. All right, finished. Always the pro, Claire. I'll I'll have the boys move the body to the lab. Be gentle with her, huh? Nasty. All right, then let's do this. Oh, let's put them together. Okay, must be used first. Well, invalid before B. Before E. If used before E. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it correct. Okay. All right then, let's let's do C first. Um, it's purple and it boils. Okay then, let's do B. It's blue and it's smoky. Let's do A here. Uh, green and it boils as well. Okay then, let's do E. Red. None. Well, you would think the red one would be the most intense. Green and none. Okay. Let's submit this. And it is some kind of Chinese herb that is poisonous. In quantities over 5 milligrams causes quick death. Okay. The victim was given at least 20 milligrams. I'd say that was the cause of death, alright. 20? Yeah, she'd probably knock out dead like in less than 5 seconds. Alright then, so... I found the cause of death lens. Not your average MO. My autopsy autopsy report that the victim's fingerprints are, and the victim's fingerprints are on their way. Good luck. I hope you catch this one. Me too. Thanks, Claire. All right. Um, okay. Not known. All right. She was a theme. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So we can like, you know, put this up here to see it if we need to. Um, she is a female. She is Asian. She was in her twenties. She was black hair. I think it said she has brown eyes. Yeah, yeah, brown eyes. Um, she is 120 pounds and she is five foot four. No missing person. Okay, it's hard to believe that no one would be looking for such a beautiful young woman. Then again, she hasn't been dead long. Okay. All right, enter fingerprints. All right, then let's enter them. There's not a search report. Maybe we won't be able. To find yeah, we won't be able to find her. No match found in database. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got Jane Doe on our hands. Uh huh. Okay, so nothing. Nothing. Investigation complete. So if we didn't find the perpetrator, the investigation's complete. 
If we didn't know the person that died, the investigation is complete. All right, then. Well, okay, that about does it for the first video. I'm going to do this in investigation segments. So we're starting on investigation two. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe if you want to. And as always, you can like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash livybirds with an S. You can also add me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.